Good morning, to Let's Go Bali Part 6, and today, let's explore the Uluwatu Temple. The temple is built at the edge of a 70-meter high cliff and is one of the nine directional temples of Bali, meant to protect it from the evil spirits of the sea. This spectacular temple is one to marvel with, as it perched at the edge of the rock, overlooking the roaring sea, as if on guard. And besides the dramatic view of the temple and its steep cliff, to our right and to our left, we have the beautiful cliff walk, overlooking the Indian Ocean, which is already reason enough to visit. The temple is located 30 kilometers to the south of Denpasar, and easy reachable by car, taxi, or motorbike. The temple has always been a very popular tourist attraction in the southern parts of the Bali island among tourists, because Uluwata Temple offers very beautiful sunset views. Because of its unique location, we have to take a long stone stairway to reach it. Also interestingly, the Uluwata Temple heads east, unlike other Balinese temples which face mostly west or south.
The Uluwata Temple is also famous for its hundreds of monkeys, which are roaming along the path, outside and inside the temple compound. Although the monkeys look tame, we find them a nuisance, as they often grab food off a visitor's hand. And snatch visitors' belongings and even car parts from parked vehicles outside in the parking area. The monkey dwell in the small forest, and are believed to guard the Uluwata Temple, from bad influences. The serpentine pathway to the Uluwata Temple, is fortified by concrete walls on the cliff side, and takes about an hour to get from one end to another. As there are several fenced points along the way, to stop and marvel the views, of the water surging up against the cliff rocks. Without a doubt, what makes Uluwata Temple spectacular is its cliff top setting at the edge of a plateau 70 meters above the waves of the Indian Ocean. Curious about the name, I did some research, and found that Gulu means the top, and Watu means a rock, in Balinese, which makes sense. Furthermore, I read that several archaeological remains, which have been found here, prove the temple to be of megalithic origin, dating back, to around the 10th century. Amazingly interesting, and epic indeed. Thanks for watching and see you back in Let's Go Bali Part 7.